Okay, so hello everyone. We are from group two. Today we're going to present about consumer attitude formation and change. Before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Zalanura Aziza with my friend Binta Madifa Balkis. So consumer formulation. Attitude formulation. Attitude reflect their of favorable or an unfavorable evaluation of the attitude object which might or might not lead to behavior. Attitudes might propel consumer toward a particular behavior or propel their away from them away from such. So this is the three complement component attitude model. A uh, model describing the structure of the attitudes it means saying that an attitude consists of three components. So that is cognitive, cognitive, and affective. So the first is cognitive is knowledge and perception of product or brand features. And next one is the affective, the emotion and feelings about the product or brand. And the last is cognitive, that is an action or behavior towards product or brand. Next is the multi-attribute model. Models that portray consumer attitude as functions of their assum assessment of the objects from me prominent attributes. The first is attribute towards object model, model that portray consumer attitude as functional of their assessment of the object prom prominent attributes. The second is attribute towards behavior models, a model con stating that a uh, consumer attitude towards a specific behavior is a function of how strongly he or she believe that the action will he help to a specific outcomes. And the third is theory of reason action, the sub subjective norm that influence a person intuition to act before guiding the level of contents. And then the next one is the, the fourth one is theory of trying to consume the outcome of a contemplated com action stinting from a positive attitude is uncertain but is still being pursued by the consume. And the fifth is attitude toward the ad model. A consumer form various effect and cognition as the result of the exposure to an advertisement which in turn affect the consumer attitudes toward the ad and believe and attitudes toward the brand advertised. The last one is attitude towards social media post model. Consumer spend a great deal of Time using social media, which allows consumers to attract with each other about brand, as well as interact with companies about their brand. And this, uh, the next slide is uh, edited motivational function. Functional approach and approach to changing attitudes by applying to the reason or motivation behind people attitudes. This reason are called functions. So the first is utilitarian function, the utilities that brand provide. When a product enabled us to perform, perform certain tasks in the past, our attitudes toward it tends to be favorable. And the second is ego defensive function. People form attitudes in order to protect themselves from sensing doubt and to replace uncertain with feelings or security and confidence. The third is value expressive function. 
attitudes reflect consumer value and belief and that marketers can create ads that either support or reflect this notion. And the fourth is knowledge function. People attitudes reflect strong needs to understand the characters of the people, even and objects they encounter. Yes, so the next one is the elaboration likelihood model or ELM. The proposition that attitudes can be changed by either one or two different routes to persuasion, a central route or a peripheral route. And that the cognitive elaboration related to the processing of information received via each route is different. Central route to persuasion, a promotional approach maintaining that highly involved consumers are best rich and persuaded through ads focused on the product's attribute. And the next one is very parallel route to persuasion, a promotional approach maintaining that uninvolved consumer can be best persuaded by the ad's visual aspect rather than its informative copy. Cognitive dissonance, the mental discomfort that people experience when facing conflicting information about an attitude object. And the next one is conflict resolution, attitude change strategy are designed to resolve actual or potential cognitive conflict between two attitudes. And the next one is causality and attribution. Attribution theory, a theory focused on how people assign casualty to events and form to alter their attitude after assessing their own or other people's behavior. Self-perception attribution is a mental interpretation that reflects the way people see themselves when they form casualty about prior events, which consists of internal and external attribution. And the next one is put in the door technique consists of getting people to agree to large requests after convincing them to agree to a small and modest request first. And this is the study case, Nike in Consumer Attitude. The brand association with top athletes, as well as slogan, just do it, convey a message of empowerment and determination. This message is consistent with the self-perception theory, which holds that consider the attitude by observing their own behavior and the context in which it occurs. Furthermore, through strategic advertising campaign featuring sports celebrities such as Michael Jordan, the brand has solidified its image as one of excellence, perseverance, and victory. This use of celebrity endorsement is based on the source credit Credibility theory, which state that an endorser credibility can have significant impact on consumer attitude and behavior. Furthermore, Nike support of social causes and commitment to sustainability help the brand remain relevant and maintain a positive image in the eyes of customer. This adaptability is critical in the elaboration likelihood model which hope that attitude change can occur by either a central or peripheral road. So the conclusion is Nike brand's image is an effective driver of consumer attitude formation and change. Nike has created a brand image that not only persuade but also adapt to the shifting environment of consumer value through the use of marketing communication celebrity endorsement and cultural relevance. Nike serve as a, as a case study in a consumer behavior course, demonstrating how a strong brand image can lead to positive consumer attitude, which can then drive brand loyalty and purchasing behavior. The Nike story demonstrates the power of branding in influencing consumer psychology and behavior in the marketplace. And that's all from us. Thank you.